what is fascinating about spiders? I mean, I could just go on and on about that. But I think for me, what's absolutely captivated is trying to understand how they make silk. And they make so many kinds of silk. Like that's just what boggles my mind. Everything that we keep learning, it just kind of points to what we don't know. An individual silk gland, it's kind of like a balloon, and that's where the silk molecules are made, and they just sit there in this liquidy goo, and then they're able to draw from this reservoir of liquid silk. You're gonna find sometimes a dozen, sometimes hundreds, sometimes thousands of these individual silk glands. I'm hoping to get something that's not just 0. 0.00000 whatever percent of spider diversity, but hey, you know, we all have goals. Each different silk has its own material properties. And because there are so many different kinds of silks, you can have a whole set of silks to choose from when you're trying to design a material for a specific purpose. And so by discovering all the silks, you're also discovering all of these different properties that you can use for whatever you might need them for. So I know that out there, somewhere in the world, there's a stronger, a tougher silk, or a silk that's more perfectly um, suited to whatever application you think of. And now there's the technology to mass produce that. <laughs>